Oh yeah, she's a running good now. I'm sweating already. Raise your hand if you've ever had a project that turned into a disaster. I'm gonna raise my hand. This is still having fun, but this is a nightmare. Let me show you the issue. We made a mistake in our wood stall, wood installation. I put the cart before the horse quite a bit. Uh, I'm known to do that. Um, it's a bad habit of mine. I'll rush, rush, rush to get something done. And then I'll be like, yeah, this is awesome. And then I'm like, ah, I forgot something. So <laughs> let's show you the issue we ran into. I can't even find what I'm looking for to show you guys what happened here. Um, uh, here's one piece. Oh boy, folks. Only the best. Only the best for you guys here. Oh, it's right in front of me. Here we go. All right, start over. So you guys may have watched last video. I have no idea where the video series is at as far as the wood stove goes, but... Dad and I cut out our circle for our chimney, and then we slid the chimney through, we put the support box on, we mounted it to the stove, we had a fire going, and everything was huggy-dory, and then we realized something. The issue we ran into, and this is a wood uh, mistake installing your wood stove, um, your double wall chimney pipe, that's the silver pipe that you saw last video. We cut a hole nine and a half inches, right? The double wall pipe is only eight inches wide. So we had double wall pipe rubbing on the plywood up on the ceiling which is in code and it can cause a fire hazard the double wall chimney per the manufacturer needs two inches of airspace non-combustibles around it so what we have to do today we had to cut out a square so we hit those tolerances and what a pain in the, in the you know what i almost said it i'm sorry i know kids watch but let me show you the roof if this doesn't leak, it'll be a Christmas miracle. I guess it could have been a blessing in disguise because we got four brand new legs for the wood stove. I don't even know where the broken ones went. We had a broken wood stove uh, leg. Uh, which one is it? See, this is what a leg is supposed to look like. And this is what one of ours looked like. So we had a fender washer in there. I wasn't comfortable with it. So we got four brand new legs. These are eight and a half inch legs. And then let's show you guys what... A nightmare this so time. As you can see, we got the sawzaws, we got chainsaw wedges, the stove is laying on a pillow, drills, tools everywhere. What a nightmare. So what we had to do, we had to cut pretty much a 14 inch square hole in our ceiling to meet clearance. Now the, the metal plywood, the metal roofing, what I'm gonna do is this. We still have the flashing around. I accidentally bumped it with the skill saw, so we're gonna have to put some caulking there and hopefully it seals however in the spring when it's not 20 degrees out we are going to cut this square and we are going to put a square rubber boot around this on the outside and fasten it properly so right now we have a nine and a half inch hole for our chimney but our combustibles are yeah look at that nice straight cut you can imagine how it was cutting on a step ladder but we have two inches and then change on all sides from the double wall pipe going up. So that's the clearances we needed. Um, in the spring, like I said, I will put a square rubber boot. For now, I'm gonna hopefully, I hope this seals, we'll have to find out. Uh, I have no idea. So we're gonna have to just find out and see. But anyways, that's the issue we ran into. Let me show you what we had so to do. Those are our two sections of pipe we had to take out. What we had to do here was remove the metal screws on our wet, because it's raining, misting, on our wet metal roofing here. We slid two two by fours up to get the metal off of the plywood here. And then we cut out our circle from the inside. That is still silicone down. No idea. <laughs> if that doesn't leak, it will be a Christmas miracle. So let's go painstakingly put it back together. Screw that down. It's only gonna be catching on the metal roof, but we'll see if that's enough. So let's put this back together. But however, we do have the proper clearances. We do have the new legs on the wood stove, which is what I wanted. And then we have obviously enough setback for um, our double wall pipe there. So I looked online, the square gaskets are 14 and a half by 14 and a half. So we cut a little less than 14 inch by 14 inch opening you got that half inch on the edge to screw down we'll put that metal flash we'll put that rectangular gasket on in the spring but for now that will do yeah what a nightmare so let's clean up and then hopefully have a fire 
in this video. Right, folks what do you think pops We've got brand four brand new legs um stove looks good we sweeped we vacuumed we got one clamp on here as you can see we're clearances to the wood that looks mint now i could i could sleep tonight knowing that's pretty good so yeah everything looks good let's go check outside let's have a look here again it'll be a miracle if that boot doesn't leak but i just climbed up there and i pulled the boot up let me show you a close this up. This is view. all we got. Number six, Universal Master Flashing Aztec, yada, yada, yada. This is designed for 500 plus degrees. We pulled it up. As you can see, we have all our screws here. We reapplied some caulking. I don't know, Dad. I don't think that'll leak. Nope. We might luck so out. One thing I am going to get is a storm collar, which will help shed some. A storm collar is like a, um, like a fishing hat that slides down to the top of the boot. In any rain, it helps kind of keep water off the boot. What so. about our cap? I'm going to retrofit probably the boiler cap. That'll be another day. Let's go fire it up. What do you say, Dad? Yeah, we'll fire yeah. it up. Got some hot coals from the boiler. Let me get one more shovel load because yeah, that's yeah. cold air in the chimney. Okay. Those are red hot. Nice. Use several little tools, Greg. Yeah, I'm going to. Go ahead, you can toss those sticks in. Go. Hold on, let me 
how she's popping. That dry, yeah? Oh, yeah, we can talk today. something funny we end up putting the outdoor boiler cap on it um, just rest in there but it fits it's working it's heating up. oh yeah she's a running good now I'm sweating already <laughs> <laughs> 